Welcome! In this video I will show you how to integrate Collabora Online in Nextcloud. Now we have created a Docker image together with Collabora that makes it easy to get online office running in your Nextcloud installation for home users. So Lucas, who did most of the work creating the Docker image, also made some improvements to the integration app so that for example you can now just click an Office document in the Files app and it automatically fires up the editor. And of course we have more improvements in store. Now feature-wise, right now you can edit Word and PowerPoint and Excel files as well as the open versions of these file formats like ODT and ODP. It has shared editing, that is, multiple people can view but only one can actually make edits. Now it's quick and easy to switch between who is editing and fully collaborative editing is coming in a future version. So let's get to it. Now there are three steps we're going to go through and I'm going to assume that you already have Nextcloud running on your server. And you have a domain name, in my case it is office.yoursportfleet.com while Nextcloud um, is on cloud.yoursandcamilla.com but both redirect to the same server. So I have only one server which is at home, it's an old desktop I repurposed for Nextcloud, it's in my living room. So Nextcloud runs on there and we will add the Docker container with Collabora online. So this will need some Apache configuration which I will show, uh, it's mostly copy paste from a manual on the website. Now for SSL, I use Let's Encrypt. It's free, super nice. I use the ECMA tool to get the certificates automatically renewed every few months. Let me show you this. So it's on GitHub. You can just Google HCME. Uh, of course, there are other tools you can use to get and maintain your certificates in an automated, easy way. Whatever floats your boat. We have all the requirements. A host that can run Docker. Check. I have already installed Docker on my server. A subdomain, check, office.yourportfleet.com Apache, of course, I already had Nextcloud running and of course a valid certificate from Let's Encrypt. Now following the manual we will start with Docker. This is super easy, let me show you. It's just a matter of docker who collabora code and then just wait for it to download. Obviously I have sped this part up so you don't all have to wait as much as I did. Alright, looks like we got it. So let's get uh, to the menu again. So we need to run this Docker container. Um, well, it's gonna run on cloud.yosmila.com Otherwise we just run it this way. Alright, that's up and running. So there is a caveat here. Make sure that the domain is where you run Nextcloud, not where you run Collabora Online. So not office.yoursportly.com in my case. Because you will get a rather obscure error about a connection problem and like me, you can spend easily four hours trying to figure out what went wrong before you finally yeah, solve it. So tip, make sure that you got the right domain here. Alright, next step. The manual now says to install an Apache reverse proxy on the server. So Apache is already installed. Uh, I have Nextcloud. Uh, so I will quickly show how to enable the modules. Well, in my case they were already enabled as I have done this before. And then, you know, we need the virtual host to proxy the traffic. I've simply copied this over and made the necessary adjustments. So, my server name is office.yoursportfeed.com It runs on port 443, just like Nextcloud, so when you try to make a connection from the outside but you connect to cloud.yoursandcamilla.com your connection will automatically be diverted to Nextcloud while if you try to connect to office.yoursportfeed.com which goes to the same server, it gets redirected to this, to Collabora Online. Now, here are my certificates from um, ACME, from Let's Encrypt, and the rest I just kept the way it was. Okay, so let me quickly show you also my ACME configuration for Let's Encrypt. So, ACME has an extensive manual on this, so just do what they say to get this working, and you know, it'll be fine. It essentially diverts all traffic to SSL 
on port 443 unless it's specifically trying to verify a Let's Encrypt certificate. Now, let's edit my Nextcloud config. And here is actually the proper configuration for my Nextcloud, as you can see. Now we have Apache set up and we need to reload Apache, which is done this way on OpenSUSE. Alright, so Apache is restarted. Next we go and install and configure the Collabora app in Nextcloud. We go to my Nextcloud, find the Connect app and enable it so it gets downloaded, installed and turned on. Then we go to the admin settings to configure our Collabora online server. The app was already configured before so I don't have to change anything, but if you do, just click apply. There's another caveat here, which is that if you have the Documents app installed, the app that has been available for collaborative editing until now, this will actually break this step. So there's a bug where the Documents app prevents you from setting up your Collabor online server URL. You have to disable the app if you have it still uh, on your next cloud. We'll probably fix that bug soon, but until then this is a workaround that will save you a lot of headaches. So disable it after you have configured the URL you can probably enable it, I don't think there are any other clashes between the two apps. Now let's see if this all works and if we can edit the document. As you see, it's working. Now I have a third debugging tip with regards to IP tables and firewalls. I noticed on OpenSUSE that if I start or restart a firewall, after Docker is started, the result is a connection error in Collabora Online. Let me show you. So this doesn't happen if I start the firewall first and Docker later. So I'm assuming Docker does some IP tables magic to make sure, you know, the Collabora Online Docker image works fine. And obviously you can spend hours trying to figure out what ports to open in your firewall and in the end, you didn't have to just run the firewall and Docker in the right order. So I hope that this saves you a lot of time and headache that I, you know, had to spend on that. So let me show you how to stop the Docker image and then restart Docker and the image. And this time it works again. So I hope this tutorial has been handy to get your own online office set up at home. Of course you can and should look on the forums if you get in any trouble. We have a lot of experience there already. If you need a more scalable solution for any company, Nextcloud GmbH offers help and support for that as an add-on to the Nextcloud support subscription. You can check out nextcloud.com enterprise. Thank you for watching.